so this is our first vlog. We are now in Podgorica. We just arrived. These are our sleepy faces. <laughs> faces. Sleepy faces. Faces. <laughs> sleepy faces. Faces. Um, because we slept at the airport in Budapest and then our flight was at 6.30 and now it's about 8 or 9. Uh, we just got our car that we rented and we are going to Podgorica to get uh, SIM cards to get internet because that's important. So we can't wait to show you everything. Driving is strange here. <laughs> I feel like in Mexico City. <laughs> Actually, no, much worse. <laughs> yeah, but the people are nice in the, yes. in the in the stores, even if they don't speak um, English so well. They try to uh, explain you everything, so they are actually very nice. We just got a, a SIM card. It was very cheap, actually. We got um, we got it for um, five euros and 10 gigabytes per day, which is really cool. So if you come to Montenegro, uh, take care uh, if you rent a car, because the driving can be very um, crazy. crazy, I guess. Uh, the cars are just coming from every side, there are no rules, or at least we didn't really um, find the rules yet. <laughs> It's interesting. Okay, so we found a snake and we don't know what to do. We don't want to crush it. We don't want to crush it with the car. And it's not moving. So we don't know Maybe it's dead, no? if, it's, if it's dead or not. I don't know. So do you think the snake was plastic? It looked like no. Maybe it was a joke. <laughs> Some asshole. <laughs> <laughs> So we just arrived to Rijeka, Trino de Nevitsa. Trino de Nevitsa. Trino de Nevitsa. It's not my speciality, those kind of languages. <laughs> you can see how amazing is the site. Yes, it's can. What can I see? That's what I can see. And there is a plastic bag. Mm. That's how plastic bags enter the ocean. Actually. Even if there are in locations that are very far from the ocean. the 
Rijeka, so river, Trunojevica. And the town is also called like this. I'm not sure if I pronounce it. Okay. okay. Woo. So we arrived to the river, um, Rijeka, Trunojevica. And this town is also called like that, Trunojevica, like the river, which is this one. And this is the, the old bridge, which is very famous. And it looks lovely. Now we are going to take a coffee. Yes, we need. <laughs> So it's almost uh, 5 p.m., so almost sunset, here in Montenegro. This is our first day and we just found this amazing, amazing view here. It's called uh, Pablo Vastrana. Pablo Vastrana, the viewpoint in the, in the national park. It just looks... Second day. So I don't have makeup yet because we have to hurry now. Um, we have to check out from the from our accommodation. This is our view. We didn't have time to show it yesterday, and I wanted to make a little room tour as well. So this was really fun. This is actually not working, and we were just putting the water on us with the with the cup. We were like in the middle of the south coast, uh, staying one night in Sotomore and we are going to watch uh, two towns now. The, one of them is Ucini, which is next to the Albanian border and I was reading that it has a very beautiful beach and uh, then we are going to Bar, which is another uh, town um, on the south coast and it has a very beautiful old town and beach also. So I hope it's going to be good. So it takes approximately like 40 minutes uh, to get to Utsini um, from Sutomore, but also I think from Budva, uh, maybe a little bit more like one hour. We arrived here to Ulcini now. Uh, we are in the actual port. The whole town can be seen there behind. And we are going to go to the Ulcini, that is actually in that little mountain there. Shit. And we are to make some pictures because it like a very, looks like a very good location. This is the best view point.
I think the only bad thing in Montenegro until now is uh, that it's very dirty in some places and the fresh is just thrown away randomly like right now on the beach it's like a lot of trash Go inside honey eh? Go inside No, <laughs> we're gone Bring the chupoli for making some super shots. <laughs> Maybe you never saw this process. A lot, of, a lot of you ask us actually who is the third person who traveled with us and taking all the photos. So, is this? <laughs> <laughs> No one is here and it looks very amazing. It looks like if we were in Portugal or somewhere. Check it out. And that is it already. You don't lose control. I'm focused on you, baby. Lately you've been in my aim. I've been reaching out for you and still that's so far away. Looking through the smoke in the mirror. Crazy how I see you so clear. Crazy how I see you so clear. And how you make me smile. And how you make me smile. So we arrived to bar. Not to the bar, but to the bar town. <laughs> and you can watch this amazing sunset. We just arrived in the perfect time. And. But you can have a what is this? Yes, there are a lot of interesting things here like this. It's a little statue that shows you how much kilometers are from here to other interesting places, like very, very far places. Jerusalem, 1,832. La Meca, 3,000. The Victoria Falls, 6,000. I cannot see what it is. 6,681 kilometers from here. Taj Mahal, Lake Skadar. We were there yesterday. And it's just 15 kilometers from here. And the Forbidden City, from which country? That sounds interesting. And the South Pole, 14,000 kilometers from here. Mm -hmm. Let's explore together. <laughs> a funny, funny story. We were driving here and we were going there when we realized that actually uh, it's like a federal zone or something. And the soldiers were like, no, no, no. And I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it would be not nice. But I will show you more things. So we are inside now of the port of Bar. It's full of ships, old, new, with engine and without. That's very cool. <laughs> I'm watching magical sunsets since we arrived to Montenegro, guys. It's very amazing. What is this? <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> My underwear. <laughs> of sugar. So this is our apartment. For three nights. For uh, in Budva. We are staying in Budva for three nights and then uh, we are going for different to different directions every day. From tomorrow on. And this is actually very interesting that uh, quasi locals are Local people are renting their, their houses, uh, houses for mm -hmm. uh, as apartments and um, the rooms. So, for example, this one is also like a family house, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we just got a room here, and it looks very, very nice. Yes, yeah, very a, comfortable. We have a balcony, 
and uh, the kitchen is downstairs and basically the two floors of the house are for as a, as a hotel mm -hmm. like the rooms are rented and I think that they are quite empty because uh, it's a love season mm -hmm. so we got the room pretty cheap actually yeah it's super good yeah we love it and then the people are very very nice this guy just came to pick us up like we were looking for the place for like half an hour <laughs> <laughs> and then looking for an ATM <laughs> to put out money because here usually you can just pay by cash mm -hmm. you have to put out cash from the ATM but the ATMs are not working on Sunday so we were looking for an ATM but they were not working and then this guy just came to pick us up like two streets away from here mm -hmm. and then uh, he helped us to come here by car we parked the car here and then he said that there is actually no uh, ATM open on Sunday. That's very strange. The, the machines are closed. Uh, anyway. We are happy. Now we are going to rest a little bit because we, we need it. <laughs> yeah, we bought some pasta and we are going to cook. Yes. As travelers on a budget. We're going to cook pasta with tomato sauce. <laughs>